Hello everyone, and welcome to Val's Castle Construction Challenge. This time, we're going to be doing some work kind of all over the place. Um, I've been doing a few things. Let's take a look at what I've got accomplished so far. Oops, wrong button. Um, I have already raised the outer wall two blocks all the way around. You can probably tell that. I'm going to make it five high. And I've begun working on making it too wide. I'm going ahead and starting to do the quote unquote the inner wall to make it one, two wide. It's never really gonna, I mean, it's three wide, wide right? Because we've got the, the hole here. I'm never gonna have three blocks full of stone. Um, I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna do like an extra block on the outside or anything. So, you know, when the challenge says to, to go up to three, I'm probably just not going to do that. I'll be doing like decorations on the wall instead. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and make do the harder part earlier. So that's what I'm doing now. So I've begun laying that around. Uh, but I think I only got to about over there. I gotta connect it to here and then finish that. So I'm almost done. The other thing I've done from the list, I kind of see it on the mini map now gone ahead and set up a little tree farm over here, just right outside my area. It's supposed to have 10 trees, this one's got 15, I think it is, 10 of the oak and 5 of the birch. Those are the only other ones than the dark oak that I've found right now besides these, uh, these ones here that I don't really care to use, those mod ones. Uh, I gotta look, still look for like the, you know, the regular spruce. I think that's the only one I'm really missing at this point. Uh, and you can see I got some gravel in here, making plotting out my path. And I've also started to do that in front, all the way working towards the, the town over here. And you can kind of see that, but you can see the walls, five high here. I want to finish that this this time for sure. And then, since I'm kind of getting all that for free, tree farm's done, I'll, I'll call that done. We'll probably go ahead and do another guard tower this time. More than likely. And I've claimed the well is being done, but I went ahead and moved this to a fountain. You can see just a little different design here. Uh, and I had to have this back piece because it's a 2x2 two two fountain instead of a 3x3. Three three. Uh, so I'm going to move the well, and it'll be up against the wall. I'm not sure where, but it might end up being up in this frontal area here. So we need to move all the fields, all the wheat and everything out in front, out of the walls. Um, so we may work on that this time, or I may start doing another guard tower. One of those two things. Oh, and obviously, I don't know if I mentioned last time uh, making all the tools. I think actually I did it between episodes. So uh, with the iron hammer here, I've been able to do tons and tons of mining now. It's way easier with this thing. Uh, and I've been melting my iron, you know. Molten iron, pouring it. Mostly into blocks, and I'm breaking up the blocks. Um, but I did make go ahead and make all the casts. You can see here for all the different types of tools. Here's our ingot cast in the bottom corner there. And just some extra stuff that I've got so far. And then all the pieces that I made to, to make all the uh, casts. Alright, be right back in a little bit. I'm going to finish up the, the walls. Alright everybody, welcome back. I finished extending the exterior walls the inner layer of the wall all the way around. You can see all the guard towers, that section of the wall back there. Um, but I didn't do the gatehouses, that one or that one. We'll probably be building those up uh, pretty soon. It may actually not happen until next age or until the walls are the full height. And then as I build up these towers, but, but I mean, it's flanked by towers, so it, it may not matter. Um, but what I did want to show, I think I skipped over this, is I did actually finish breaking down the little initial 
quote unquote wooden keep that I had. Um, and I replaced it with this little kind of wooden gazebo. We got slabs thinning into stairs into a full block for a little roof there. So it's kind of like a little slanted roof. And like this little raised platform here that you walk up, can walk up into or down from all four sides. So it's basically just like as you spawn here, it's a nice little raised gazebo platform, something like that that we can then go off and do whatever. And then I went ahead and moved the well over here. Same kind of design, upside down stairs, corners being full blocks, and inside having a uh, cobble like that. And we'll go ahead and put our water in. I want it at this level or this level? I think I want it at this level. Oh, did that not make a pool? That should have made a pool. An infinite pool. Hmm. This is kind of strange. Alright, so let's do it in the bottom. Okay. And like so. There we go. Weird. So I was thinking of having like some little hanging thing here, maybe putting some fence posts down to make it look like a a rope or something, but I don't think I'll do that. I'll just probably leave it like this. And I may even just bring the water all the way up to the to the top of the room here. Generally it would be down, but hey, at least this way you can see it a little better. And you know, I've got a little some paths I'm starting to make for where all the little doorways are gonna be in the towers, people come and go. You know, just kind of figuring things out. Um, okay, I think I will knock those things off the list. Well, I already had the well marked as done, so I wanted to make sure that it was it was good. I got that marked as done. And let's knock out one of these other little things here. Probably the wheat farm. I think I want to start moving all my farms outside the walls now that we've got buckets. Welcome back everyone. I think I've finished enough to show you my progress. First of all though, look at my shiny new iron armor. Yeah. About time I made some, since we are in the Iron Age and all. Okay, let's go take a look outside. So I've just kind of begun, and I was thinking right out front here, uh, where, you know, kind of the beginning of all the great fields, I'd have all the crops that, you know, are a little bit smaller. Melons, berries, cane, any of that other kind of stuff that would be here. So this side is pumpkins. As you can see one growing over already. And this side is melons. I put little cap blocks here on this side so they only grow on the edges over there. And then have little three little rows for my berries. And then just this open area here in front of the castle wall and up to this uh, Thomcraft mound here. You can see on the mini-map all the monsters under there. There's a dark node, whatever it's called, a sinister node, and some monster spawners down there. Um, it's pretty... will be pretty useful hopefully later on, uh, but for now it's just, you know, I stay away from it. So I do have a fence set up just for mobs and you know, animals that'll walk around here so they don't walk on the stuff and actually jump on it, but on the back here it's mostly wheat. I want to have a lot of wheat. And then I divided this front section up into carrots here and potatoes up front. Not as many potatoes yet. Got to grow some more. And I've spread it out as much as possible um, by making one little piece of water here to irrigate as much land as possible. And spread out like that. So I think that's probably going to do it for me this time. You know, we're kind of knocking out some of the little things. Um, but we're really starting to make some progress. After this, you know, I'll, I'll spread out and make wheat all along these hills here. Um, and we'll really work on the road. Can kind of come take a look at that real quick, what I've started. So I don't have a gate or anything up here. It's not fully enclosed. It's just, you know, kind of help. Eucalyptus is what that's called. 
the berries. So I've cleared away the grass and started to fill in gravel. Or I've got my path here set up. You can see we have a Thomcraft, one of those obelisks over there, without any bad guys around it. Got some horses over here. Over here by our little lake. And that's kind of where it stopped. I gotta finish the gravel all the way over this little hill. As you can see, this is where we're at now. It'll take it all the way along here, all the way up into the front gates there. So it just continues all the way along. But uh, get that going over time. Probably do it off camera, of course. We'll gather up all these horses, we'll build some stables. Um, probably be doing that this... well, maybe not. But I'll gather up the horses and get them protected at least. Do that here pretty soon. Just wanted you guys to see that I've begun that over over towards the town over there. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, moving quite along through the Iron Age here. And hopefully we'll get back to work on the keep very soon. I want to kind of knock out all these other little projects first, uh, like the another guard tower. Now that we've got all this stuff moved, got this land cleared up and closed off, put stables here in a kennel. And as I build this tower up and this tower up, I may, in the space between, make a barracks here and connect these. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. It's right next to the stables. That makes sense to me. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time.